Hello there. Recall that in the previous video, we learned about continuity at a point. Along with this, we also talked about this continuity at a point. We say that f is discontinuous at a point if at least one of the conditions in continuity isn't satisfied. These conditions of continuity includes first, f of a exists, then second, the limit of f of x as x approaches a exists, and lastly, these two are equal. In addition to this, we also tackled an example that is discontinuous at a point. In this case, this function is discontinuous at x equals 1. Indeed, if we check out its graph, there is a hole at x equals 1 out here. And we also have seen in the previous video that given this one, given a hole out here, we can actually redefine this function into g of x equals, so this one is the expression of f. So we have this if x is not equal to 1, and we have g of x equals negative 1 if x is equal to 1. Its graph is given by this. So as you can see by adding this part out here, we were able to make this function continuous. So when that happens, this original function, the discontinuity here is actually called a removable discontinuity. So this is one of the types of discontinuities. And in this video, we'll discuss the other types in discontinuity. So let's have this. So the types of discontinuity. The first one is what, what we have seen a while ago, which is the removable discontinuity. Next is we have what we call the essential discontinuity. And under this, we have two subtypes, the jump essential discontinuity and the infinite essential discontinuity. We'll go over each of these one by one, starting with the removable one. So when we say removable discontinuity, this occurs when the limit of f of x as x approaches a exists, but f of a is undefined, or f of a is not equal to the limit of f of x as x approaches a. So what this tells us is that in the conditions of continuity, condition 2 is satisfied, but condition 1 isn't, or condition 3 isn't. As an example, let's have what we had earlier, which is this one. We know that its graph is given by this. So as you can see, there is a hole out here. And we know that in here, the limit exists. Since from the left and the right, it approaches this one. But f of a is undefined. So condition 1 isn't satisfied in this one. So we say that we have a removable discontinuity out here. Aside from this, we also have, or let's have this one, g of x equals this piecewise function. So this one is the same as f, but at x equals 1, we have g of x equals negative 2. So it is given by this one. So as you can see, this time, again, the limit of f of x as x approaches 1 in this case exists. But even though g of 1 exists, so g of 1 exists, these two are not equal. So condition 3 isn't satisfied. When that is the case, we again have a removable discontinuity. So that is removable discontinuity. Just a side note out here, the reason that we say that this one is removable since 
as we have seen in the previous video what we recalled earlier we can redefine the, these types of function in such a way that from this continuous it becomes continuous that's why we say that it's removable so we can remove the discontinuity by some adjustments and redefining so that is the first type of discontinuity let's move on to the next one so let's clear this one first out and let's go back to the types of discontinuity let's now focus on the essential discontinuity so let's move this one up so opposite from earlier we know that in removable discontinuity the limit exists but in this one the limit of f of x as x approaches a does not exist that is the condition 2 in continuity isn't satisfied so when this happens, we have two subtypes. The first is a jump essential discontinuity. This occurs when the limit from the left and the right both exist, but these two are not equal. So again, when they are not equal, we know that the limit does not exist. So it is indeed a subtype of essential discontinuity. To visualize why this is the case or what happens here let's have an example let's use the heavy side step function so we have h of x to be 1 when x is non-negative or it is positive including 0 and h of x is equal to 0 when x is negative its graph is given by this as you can see out here the limit from the left exists goes here to 0 and the limit from the right also exists, it goes out here, but these two are not equal. So at x equals 0, we have an, a jump essential discontinuity. Since the limit does not exist because the limit from the left is not equal to the limit from the right. So this is called jump, jump essential discontinuity since Technically, what happens is that from one part of the, gra the graph, it suddenly jumped out here without even connection. So from here, it just suddenly went out here, but it's broken out here. So it's like a sudden jump, a sudden shift in the behavior of the graph. That's why it's called a jump essential discontinuity. Next, so clearing, clearing this one, we have lastly, the last subtype, and that is the infinite essential discontinuity. So when we say infinite essential discontinuity, but by the name itself, either the limit, oops, the limit from the left as x approaches a from the left, so the limit of f of x as x approaches a from the left is equal to positive or negative infinity, or the limit from the right of that point approaches positive or negative infinity. So that is why it is called infinite since we have infinity involved out here. Or we have infinite limits out here. To visualize this, let's have an example. And let's use the most basic one which is g of x equals 1 over x. We know that its graph is given by this. So as you can see at the point x equals 0, just this part, x equals 0, from the right it approaches positive infinity, and from the left it approaches negative infinity. So clearly, these two are not equal, and even if there is, even if both are approaching certain infinity, we know that infinite, when a function approaches infinity, the limit still does not exist. We just denote it as positive or negative infinity to understand the behavior. But either way, this means that the limit does not exist. So this is the infinite essential discontinuity. Again, we have infinite out here since infinite limits are involved. So now, 
to summarize this, so let's clear this one out. Let's move this back down and let's have this. So to summarize, a removable, removable discontinuity occurs when the limit exists but f of a is undefined or f of a is not equal to the limit. For essential, this occurs when the limit of f of x does not exist. Under this, we have two subtypes, either jump essential discontinuity, which occurs when the limit from the left is not equal to the limit from the right, but both exist. And we have infinite essential discontinuity if the limit from the left approaches positive and negative infinity, or the limit from the right approaches positive and negative infinity. So these are the types of discontinuity. So you may take a screenshot of this one if you want for your reference. And in the next video, we'll probably try out some examples or probably an example, just one. But I'll, just, I'll still think about it. But I'll make sure to showcase these different types of discontinuity in that example or examples. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed and learned a lot from this one. Feel free to comment down below if you have any suggestions and recommendations in this video and in this playlist or in, in this channel in general. So yeah, that's it and that's all for this video.